Like Josh and I, Josh was our bass player. Our producer, we had Burke Reed, who did like Courtney Barnett and the drones. He's kind of like opened up the rhythm section. Behind every hit song is an undeniable beat. So why doesn't anyone talk to the drummer about it? We're getting behind the kit with some of the best drummers in North America. This is Drummer to Drummer. Well, kind of what I like to ask everybody first is, you know, how did you start playing the drums? Uh, my dad was a drummer. He doesn't really drum anymore, but he started me off. So when I was a little kid, we had kits, a kit in our basement, and I'd like play. He played in bands, but he was more, he never, their band never made it. He was a reporter, first mm -hmm. off. Um, but yeah, he kind of started me. And that's how I learned, and then I just started playing to like, song music I liked back in the day. I don't want to dip into your hobbies because it's, they're very well documented, but I do have to tell you that when I was doing my Danny Miles research, I like, just immediately dropped off of doing actual research and just looking at your pictures of birds because they're absolutely gorgeous. But Thank you. kind of the, the, the angle I want to take with that is because you're so busy, that is such a different type of hobby. Hobbies to being on the road all the time. How do you balance a life of you know, normalcy and being on the road all the time? Well, I think the reason I started that hobby was because I was on the road all the time. We were on the road for like five years straight. And you're always together and you, like we love each other like a family, but like your family, you need your own, own space. Yeah. Uh, so I would just go out and hike around. And when I was in Florida, I saw two sandhill cranes that just like I watched for like 45 minutes. And I was like, maybe I'm into birds. Like, it just was... It happened naturally, like out of nowhere, and then I got a camera, and it all just very quickly turned into what it is now. So the reason I started this show was because my time as a traveling drummer, nobody wanted to talk to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I also feel like drummers are some of the most interesting people in the world. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to that aspect of July Talk, how much press would you say you do um, compared to the other members of your band? I think our band is is interesting in that way because obviously there is a big focus on Peter and Leia as like this unit because they are very interesting. They have this unique thing, this yin-yang thing. So there's a lot of that. But at the same time, uh, I think I do a ton of press like on my own for right. either it's like how the drumming and birding thing is so different and in contrast or I've done like just stuff on on drumming I did clinics I don't know yeah. so I mean I do and I do a lot of charity stuff so I do interviews for that cool so you guys have won two Junos congratulations thank you um, this is a very exciting time for July Talk because I, you know, just from my relationship with Tim and watching, following our Kells, like I just, you know, you guys seem like the, the, the brother and sisterhood. And then you guys are just going on this crazy trajectory, mm -hmm. trajectory. Um, how do you kind of keep grounded and keep the, the music rolling in, a, in, a, in an evolutionary type of way in terms of the mm -hmm. drums that you write for July Talk? Like, how is that process for you changing? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, I think it's always with our band, because there's the Peter and Leia voice that kind of just makes our band sound like July Talk, the instrumental part can be very different. And so, like, throughout each song. And so we're always, like, this new stuff we're working on, I think is a lot different than what our previous records were. Mm -hmm. um, we're still recording it, but... Yeah, it's definitely got a little more music, music, musicality, yeah. maybe a little less like um, rocking, mm -hmm. but like more in depth as far as like I'm, it's actually been freeing on this process because I felt like Josh and I, Josh was our bass player, our producer, we had Burke Reed who did like Courtney Barnett and the drones. He's kind of like opened up the rhythm section, whereas everything was very like tight, which was cool, but now it's kind of opened up a lot and there's a lot more space for fills and accents and whatever it's pretty i'm excited about it <laughs> 